Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, it is a brisk 90 degrees today, so I'm going to try to do this kind of quick, but uh, it was something that came across my mind the past couple days and I figured out it might be a good opportunity for a video. Uh, today what I want to try doing is figuring out how much your lift capacity is reduced as you move out on your forks. So as most people know, the tractors are usually rated for their loader lift capacity at the pivot pin. And what that means is right here at the pin, the lower pin where the uh, quick attach frame, or if you had a pinned on bucket, for example, would attach straight to your loader. Um, that is where your lift capacity is measured at. And I guess it would be considered like a class two lever, right? Because your <clears throat> load is getting lifted from here, point where your ram pivots, um the further out you get on your uh, attachment on the front whether it's your bucket or your forks or whatever the less capacity you'll have because you have more leverage right so uh i figured this might be uh, a good opportunity to try to figure out how to do that so for today's test what i've got is my crane scale uh cheap china unit that i've got for measuring the weight of engines before i ship them uh but uh this is good for thousand kilograms so 2200 pounds and uh the only thing i have that is solid enough to not move at least i hope is my 18 f-150 here so i've got um my hitch this is a solid two inch hitch so it's rated for like 2500 pounds of tongue weight no possible way i could hurt it doing this uh, just in case one of my chains fails or something slips and uh, I did remove my tailgate because unlike the inside of the bed that's destroyed with uh, dents and a hole and missing a ton of paint, the tailgate's in good shape and I don't want to change that because of this. But uh, anyways, I'm planning on chaining the crane scale to the uh, hitch so that the ball will retain the chain. And then I'll put a chain on the top to the forks and we'll, you know, try at different points measured out on the forks and we will, uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, so before I begin this, like I said before, it's measured at the pin. No, that bolt's missing. I'm sure somebody will point that out though. So the pin is pretty much right in line with this bar. However, I don't know the wall thickness of that bar. And I don't want to potentially damage it, you know, bend it. Um, can't get any of that stuff because the quick attach frame is actually kind of a lot of money. And uh, so I'm never going to be able to get an accurate measurement for the loader lift capacity off the pin. However, what I am going to do is before we get started, I'm going to weigh the forks. Uh, these are uh my local dealers brand um joiners incorporated uh they sold me these forks they have them made from a local company but anyways they're pretty much just your generic 2000 pound rated forks these are uh, 42 by 3 inch uh tines and uh you know so it's it's not a crazy heavy fork frame at all um i, I honestly think it's about 170 pounds um but uh i'm going to sling it off from that bar first We'll get that measurement because essentially um, from the bottom of our fork here to our pivot pin is probably eight inches or so. I'll actually grab a tape measure while we're doing this and get an accurate measurement there. But um, it'll be interesting to see how much this is and then we can add that number from the fork to whatever we get for our lift capacity and we'll see how it... Uh, compares to Coyote's rated number. Okay, so we have our scale on here uh, and zeroed with just the weight of the chain. So I'm gonna start the tractor up now and we will uh, see how much the frame weighs. Okay, so it's actually quite a bit heavier than I thought it was. We've got to uh, take this off my mount. 
They're 272.6 pounds. And there is the frame totally hanging off the ground. Obviously, we have the weight of the chains and such here too. So, you know, we have that 3 8 chain, so possibly add 25 pounds to it. But, uh, all right. So, whatever we get for our max weight capacity, like I said, I guess we can probably deduct the uh, weight of the forks from it. But uh, I think for the practical purposes of this test, we won't do that simply because there's no time I'll ever be lifting something without the forks. But uh, anyways, now let's hook this up to the truck and see what we can get. Okay, so for our first test here, I'm not going to go quite to the very tip of the fork. But, uh, alright, so the forks actually measure 43 inches from the frame. Alright, we'll just, we'll measure them from the very uh, back edge of the fork itself. So that is 42 inches. So right there we have the center chain at 39 inches. We're directly above the ball of the truck. And uh, let's give this a try. Um, one thing I did want to point out too was it's about one foot from the pivot pin on the loader to the uh, point on the forks that's tucked in, you know, right tight to the frame, which would be the, the closest you could possibly get to something with it. So we're always going to have that uh, deduction in leverage, um, you know, compared to the pivot pin. But uh, let's get our scale on and zeroed, and we will uh, give this a try. Okay, so I'm not going to stand under this, but we started around 1,093 pounds while it was uh, revved up all the way. As you can see, it's already slowly bleeding off. Uh, disclaimer real quick too, uh, I wanted to mention the tractor, the engine is totally warmed up uh, and it had idled for about 20 minutes before doing it. So I'm not quite sure of the hydraulic temperature or fluid temperature, which can obviously have a little bit of an effect on things but uh let's get it right back on the tripod here and we'll scooch it in a few more inches and see what we get okay now we are at 30 inches from the forks uh this did actually peak at 1200 again as you can see it's bleeding down pretty rapidly with the uh, tractor sitting there at idle it doesn't quite have the retires off the ground, but the suspension is definitely getting light. So we'll see if it actually has the nuts to uh, pick it up as we get all the way in on the forks. Let's uh, we'll scooch into 20 inches then, and we'll give it another try. We're coming down from 1,320 pounds now. Um, interesting test there. I did try, try it at idle first, and uh, I only got 1,100 out of it. So I did obviously increase the hydraulic pressure by revving the tractor up. So it's interesting to see that the uh, hydraulic pump is not actually working as efficiently at idle as it does wide open. Okay, so now we're at 10 inches. I'm gonna scooch forward to where the chain is level again, or uh, totally straight up and down, and we're gonna try it again.
Okay, so the peak that I saw was 1,450 pounds. Again, it's coming down. So let's uh, let's go all the way in now and see what we can get. Again, root. Oh, you know what? Man, that is really close to being up. I could actually hear the uh, C-clip axles move around a little bit as I was uh, kicked the tire right there. So she's getting awfully right. All right, let's see. Uh, see with it in all the way against the forks. Okay, we've got the skill. We now have the skill zeroed out. All the way in on the forks. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we had 1,540 pounds. And as you can see, the rear tires are up. So I guess there's no point in going across the scales ever in my truck. And right there, it's holding pretty steady at 1,538. Again, as you can see, it's all the way in. Now, let me shut the tractor off and we will uh, get a conclusion from this. Okay, so as you can see, with the chain all the way as far in against the forks as it would go, 1,540 pounds of lift. Uh, and then, like we said earlier, we have approximately 12 inches or one foot from here to our uh, pivot pin on our forks. So I believe on the KL4030 loader, Coyote has a lift rating of 1,840 pounds is that accurate? What do you think? I mean, to me, it seems that if we deduct our 250 pounds, our forks were, right, with the added weight of the chains, and our extra foot of leverage out here, that uh, that does seem to be pretty close to accurate, right? Um, I mean, considering we only had about 1,000 pounds of lift capacity at 39 inches out, and we're 1,540 all the way in here, it, uh, that 39 inches definitely seems to make a pretty significant difference in reducing the lift capacity. Okay, so for my last little test here, while we've got the crane scale set up, I figured let's see how much just the bucket alone weighs. And right there, we have 313.6 pounds, 313.8. And that is the standard Coyote 66 inch bucket. Uh, I do have the three, three eighths hooks from Ken's bolt on hooks welded to the top of it here. But, uh, so I guess that proves that the forks not only are lighter, if you plan on lifting something reasonably heavy, you know, if you can get your forks into this area, like you would for the bucket, you would actually have added lift capacity solely for the fact that the bucket is the lighter attachment. So I sat down and compiled all the data together throughout the video, just as an easier way to understand the data and stuff. And this is what I came up with. So, uh, you know, I'm sure if you were to graph this, it looks like it's actually in a, a pretty linear uh, gain, you know, so just kind of interesting, I thought. All right, guys and gals, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, hopefully, somebody learned something from it. I know I certainly did. Um, before you go, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button down below if you like the channel. Uh, same thing, you know, the video, if you can give that a thumbs up too, that helps the YouTube algorithm. And uh, definitely helps keep making videos like this. Um, if there's anything else you guys wanna see, I know we've got uh, at least one commenter who has, uh, and asking for me to turn the loader lift capacity up, you know, the hydraulic pressure. Um, so now that we've done a test of the capacity, uh, maybe that's something I'll do in the next video or two. We'll uh, turn the pressure up and then we'll come back and we'll do the same test again. And uh, 
you know, get a back-to-back -back comparison of not only what the pressure increase was, but also how much we gained from the pressure increase. So that one may be coming up next. Like I said, if you want to see that, click that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it to some of your friends, and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks.